Welcome or welcome back on any help at Cisco and in this example we're gonna find the area of the sector and we, we kind of see this is the sector here uh, AOB yeah we have to be able to define that in term of pi all right so let's take a look first of all sector or circle is a region by the by an arc of the circle and two radars so yeah is the thing I just said there the area of the sector sector is part of the area of the circle it's very important and you can use proportion. So I'm going to have a step one here. Step one would be find the area of the circle. Right? Why? Because the sector is part of the uh, area of the circle. And if you remember, the area of the circle is pi r squared. In this case, we have pi times 20 squared will be. 400 pi. 20 times 20 is 400, 400 pi. So this is step one, find the area. And now we're going to go to step two. And we're going to use find area of sector A or B. Right? And then it's proportion. Okay? So let's take a look here. If I go around the circle, that means 360 degree. And that is going to give me this whole area, right? The whole thing. 400 pi. But then, I just go this arc. Right? This central angle of 60, right? 60 over... And I'm going to call this area X. Now we don't really need those degree. I will suggest you to put it to be to be sure you are consistent. And we're going to do cross multiplication, right? 360 times X equals 400 pi times 60. So. We're going to do one more thing, divide by 360 to get an expression for that x, which is the a of the set. And we end up with x equals 400 pi times 60 over 360. So let's say you cannot use a calculator. I will suggest you to look for simplification. And here is an easy one. 60 goes in 366 times. So we have 400 pi over 6, but that can still be simplified. And we both have a common factor of 2. So simplify by 2 is 3. 400 divided by 2 is 200. And I think that's it. 200 pi over 3 is the area of the sector A O B. Of course, on this problem, you can look and say, hey, 60 degrees is one-sixth, right, of, of, uh, of 360. So, uh, basically, you can, you can approach this one by dividing this by uh, 6 instead of over 2 in proportion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.